So who gonna fix the car? Well, I just go to the car lot and buy some cars. Mm -hmm. Who gonna sell the cars if he got millions of dollars? Exactly. All right. You trap either way it go. If everybody got money, what you gonna do? Exactly. Nobody get up early in the morning and get on nobody's job if you got plenty of money like that. That's right. Cause you ain't putting up with that foolishness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Cause you know how you are. You know you got that attitude. Amen. If you got a couple of dollars in the bank, they tell me I'll write you up. You will tell them where they can go and what to do when they get there. Mm -hmm. I don't need this job. Remember the old song back in the day, take this job and shove it, that old country song? Uh, That's exactly what you're going to tell your boss because you got a little money now. Okay. Amen. Every time they hit the lottery, they'll still work. That's a lie. Come on. You ain't waking up going on nobody's job having millions of dollars in the bank, putting up with that foolishness. So quit lying. Because I know I ain't. Hallelujah. Right. I'm not getting up early in the morning and I got $10 million in the bank to put up with this foolishness. No. Amen. So that's not going to happen. But see, the Bible is hard. It says, woe to the rich. Amen. Amen. I'm going to take you to a, a passage in Proverbs. <clears throat> Let's go to the 20th chapter of Proverbs. There's two verses to read here. I said, all, all y'all want to be rich so bad. Let's see here. <laughs> Amen. Let's see. The 28th chapter of Proverbs. I'm in the right spot here. <clears throat> Amen. Yes, sir. In verse 20, it says, a faithful man. This is Proverbs 28, verse 20. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. But he that, let me see that, I don't flip too many pages. But he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Mm -hmm. Verse 22 says, he that hasteneth to be rich has an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, God. What the Bible say about the love of money? The root of all evil. People kill, steal, they do all of that to get money. That's right. <clears throat> now, to my faithful Christ walking Christians out here. Amen. Remember, it was a situation in Atlanta this week. Amen. You ride on the highway behind the brake security truck. Amen. And the door fly open. And hundreds and thousands of dollars just fly out the truck. Oh. Fly out the truck. The Lord People please. all there it is. That's what they said. People thought it was raining money. You driving in the edge, and all of a sudden your windshield just covered with hundred dollar bill behind the bridge truck. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen, amen. The boy, that camera guy, they said they catch them people who did that. You looking at twenty, not ten, not five, not fifteen. If they find out you took any of that money, which people did, you up for twenty years in prison, federal prison. For taking that money. Because wow. you know that money wasn't yours. You know that money wasn't yours, Christians. Followers of Jesus Christ. You see where the money that came from. Now, if you ride down a country road somewhere and a hundred dollar bill just happened to slap on your windshield and came out of nowhere, that's one thing. But you didn't see the truck with the money flying out of it. And you know, and by the time when the news cameras got out there, you can imagine how many all my all my money that them been going already. Because they heard about it on the scanner. By the time when they got up there and set up, people were still on the side of the road picking up money. They said, well, we catch you. We're gonna run that license plate when they see John Willie Robinson Jr. on there, and they done seen you they picking up all that money. You going across the border? <laughs> They catch you. The wall. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they catch. That's federal money. You know, good well you ain't supposed to be messing with that money. Yeah, right. Look at all these people now that got hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's say it was over two hundred some thousand dollars in that truck, and the truck only recovered two hundred dollars. Two hundred. You can imagine how much money. All of them people got on the side of the road, oh, right there. People got as much money, it just came open, money just flew out. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Now imagine that. Uh -uh. Now somebody right now, and probably then, if they did the right thing, they might have got themselves all out of debt and all of that type of foolishness, all that type of stuff with ill-gotten money. But now with all that money, but how many people that, that use that money like to drink and do drugs and whatnot and got that type of money? Nah. You go buy a little bit more extra alcohol now. And don't know that your liver about to go, so now it ain't gonna be no better now. Cause now you go add all that alcohol on top of a bad liver. Amen. Now you're possibly about to get liver cancer. Mm. What are you thinking about getting no alcohol that day? Cause you ain't had no money until that truck went uh, do flew up. Mm. Mm. Now you're a drug addict. You might do a little something extra. Might mess around and overdose. You done bought all that dope now. With all that money, and now what? 
and not possibly a drug overdose with all that money you got because it wasn't yours in the first place. Uh -huh. Sometimes you got to think about that stuff, Saints. Hey, hey, amen, amen. That money was not yours. That money is not theirs. That's stolen money, and yet we teach our kids not to steal. Amen. Amen. We teach our kids, and what we always say we hate, we hate a thief and a liar. Yeah. But yet you're taking that money because it flew out of the truck. What'd that make you? Thief. What'd that make you? That don't make you blessed. That don't make you get free. Come on, come on. You right. You sit up here and holler, thank you, Jesus, for this money right here. And you see where the money that came from, and you know where it came from. Amen. All right, man. Don't have God to test you when you fail the test because of money. Some of you love money more than Jesus. Right now. Yes. What is it going to be, yes. Christians? Yes. Come on, come on. Followers of Jesus Christ. Yes. And yet you're up here telling people that stealing is wrong. Mm. All right, saying, you know, I had to bring that up. Amen. I had to bring that up. But yet we teach our children not to steal. Something to think about. Yes, Why do we put money before Jesus? Why do we do that? Remember the thing, like I said, for five thousand dollars for a million dollars, would you slap your pastor doing service? All the people said they'll spin them backwards. <laughs> Just for money? <laughs> Just for money? <laughs> Just for money? See, people put questions out there just to see what you go do. For such and such. Some of you talking about for a million dollars, would you slap your brother? Yes, I'll slap him, and we both go spend the money. Okay. <laughs> All of this type of stuff. Slap the fire out of him, and we can spend it together. All kinds of stuff, but when they said that to slap the man or woman of God for a few million dollars, my God, when the Bible just says, touch not my anointed, and so you go let some money get you in trouble like that. Help us, Lord. And to mess around and to get in some type of car and then your arm got to be amputated. Do you know that's just what happened to a football player in Miami? Yeah. The Miami Dolphins just had a young football player that got in a car crash and his arm had to be amputated. Wow. All over sports center and stuff. Just starting his career, Ricky. And now he has no arm now. Don't know what happened, don't know what the cause of the wreck. I didn't get into it or not. But the point is, that young man that lost his arm. You can lose your arm in an accident, Saints of God. Hallelujah, God. And don't do nothing that's ill gotten. Is it worth that? You picking up all that money with your right hand, you mess around and lose it, then what? You can't spend it. Amen. Hallelujah. Is it worth getting in the crash and being paralyzed from the chest or the waist down? Is it worth it? Now you're rich with all that money and can't get up and walk. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? What did the word say about a man? Is it worth it that they can gain the whole world? So, is it worth going to hell over money? Come on. All because money flies in the back of a truck. Is it worth it? Yes. To lose your soul. That's right. I guarantee you probably ain't none of them gonna donate a dime to the house of the Lord. <laughs> Stolen money. Put it off the plate. I can deal with any type of money you want to give, but not stolen money. <laughs> All of that type of food. But I just had to put that out there. To see what we were at and whatnot. I'm getting ready to close because I wanted to talk about my straight and narrow Christians out here that stay on the straight and narrow path because I know we ain't going to do nothing like that because we don't teach that up here at Restoration. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, God. We don't watch people money fall out the back pocket and then step on it and let them walk away. <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. We don't pay for nothing with $5 and get $20 back and change and keep it. We don't do that up in here. Right. Hallelujah, God. There's an honesty up here. No, you gave me too much money. That's what we do up in here. That's how we get taught in this place. Right. Hallelujah, God. Because the enemy will tempt you with stuff like that. Yes. You know you done paid $5 for something that gave you $15, $18 back of change. That's right. Ooh, I done just got blessed. Okay. <laughs> now that person that came up short and get fired. That's right. Because you done got the wrong boss on the job that don't play that. You done came up $18 or $20 short on the register. Now that young lady, young man that got fired. Oh, because you don't want to give it back. Because you're going to put that in your gas tank and fill it up. I tried to fill it up on that case. Saints, we're going to get tested and tried all kinds of different ways. You got to say it. Especially with money, with finance. That's it. Because, see, our flesh wants it so bad. Yes, it does. And if you didn't earn it, hallelujah, God. You be sure to give that back or return it. Especially when you know where it came from. That's what I'm saying. That's right. When you know where it came from, hallelujah. People that went to make deposits in a bank and dropped bags full of money and people have kept it. And seen the woman, a man drop it. 
and went out and kept it. Hallelujah, God. So, once again, saints of God, God says when you do the, uh, the arm of God, it's called the belt of truth. Mm -hmm. And we say we put on the arm of God every day. That's right. We can't put on the armor without the belt. That's right. Amen. That's the belt of truth. Mm -hmm. So let us do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, God. It may be painful, it may hurt to give it back, but that's the right thing to do. You wouldn't Amen. want your money back if you were to lose it. Hallelujah, God. Right. Bless your holy name, God. And let us once again, let us always be thankful. Amen. Why be thankful? Why do all of the right things and then miss out your blessing for taking something that's ill, God? That's right. Hallelujah, God. And it was all for nothing. Amen. We are better than that. Remember, we are not like the world, saints. That's why the word says we're peculiar people. We are different. That's right. We are different. Now, they might call you crazy and a fool. Let them call it to you. The word says that you are different. We're not like everybody else. We follow Christ and the teachings of Christ. Amen. We're not like everybody else. Let them do that foolishness. And we got to teach our children to do better as well. Hallelujah. They see somebody drop some money on the ground, we got to tell them that they drop some. Don't pick it up and put it in their pocket right quick. That the person don't know about it. Hallelujah, God. Monitor your children, amen. Hallelujah, God. Monitor that because kids don't have no business in third and fourth graders walking around with twenty and forty dollars in their pocket. Amen. Knowing that you ain't gave it to them. <laughs> you know they done got it from somewhere. Hallelujah, God. So let us teach our children to do the right thing. Teach our children to continue to pray and to be thankful, amen. As school gets ready to start up in another month or so, amen. Oh, let us make sure we have some Christian field kids going back to school and doing the right thing. But you have to be that example because they see you every day. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. God. And they listen to your conversation. So you got to be careful what you're saying, especially about ill God stuff. If we've done any of those things, you need to repent and ask God for forgiveness. Hallelujah, God. Amen, amen, amen. Let us stand to our feet. Amen. Bless your holy name, God.